Did you ever experience light flickering or sudden shutdown of electronics when construction work is nearby? These can be the signs that you are experiencing power surges. Power surges, or transient voltages, are unexpected increases in voltage for the short term. And they are one of the main root causes of electronic failures from our homes, workplaces, or even medical facilities. In some cases we might lose unsaved games, documents, or even luxury home entertainment systems during largely fluctuating power surges. And here comes the question. What causes power surge? While lightning can be one of the common causes of power surges, aging of electrical grid can be another. And power surges also come internally from our home. The switching of electronics with motors or compressors can be the reasons to cause sudden power surges. Believe it or not, these ones cause as high as 80% of the power surges, not that we are even aware of. And this is when our electronics are gradually damaged over time. To avoid the unwanted damages to our electronics, surge protectors or surge suppressors absorb excessive energy that cause power surges, safeguarding connected electronic equipment. But how do we set up an adequate surge protection plan? Here are the eight things you should know. First of all, you may have heard of power strip and surge protector. But what is their main difference? We can treat power strips as expansions of your in-wall outlets to give us flexibility to power up our devices. As for surge protectors, they can not only offer the extra outlets as power strips do, but also provide protection against power surges. The second thing to consider is the joules. Surge protectors absorb the spikes in energy from power surges, and joule is the unit to measure the level of protection that surge protectors provide. The higher rating in joules, the better protection for electronics. Number 3, LED indicator. As the total energy that a surge protector can absorb is limited, the LED indicator will help you identify if the protection is still available. And there can be another LED to let you know if the surge protector is properly grounded. Number 4, power cord. Make sure the cord length is suitable for the environment where we use the surge protector. Sometimes you might only need a wall tap surge protector. And other times extra length of the cord is required for a further in-wall outlet. Number 5, Outlets. Compared to have exact numbers of the outlets that you need for now, consider getting some more outlets just in case you have more gears to be connected later. If you are intended to use adapters that can take up more space on the surge protector, select products with wide spaced outlets so your adapters can easily fit in. Some surge protectors are also equipped with safety covers to avoid electric shock and damage from a high dust environment. Number 6. Installation. If you are in need of attaching the surge protector on the wall or underneath a desk, select the one with keyhole mounting slot so that you can instantly install the protector without a hassle, making the most of limited space. Number 7. Charging functions. Additional charging functions will be helpful in getting rid of your power adapters. Different charging ports can be available for surge protectors including USB-A, USB-C, USB-C power delivery, or even wireless charging. And finally, additional features will increase the overall usability of surge protectors, such as energy-saving outlets, data line protection, additional on-off reset control switch, or fire stop design that enhances the level of protection. Overall speaking, when it comes to surge protection, choose a brand that offers not just functionality, but also reliability, including safety certification and warranty. Cyberpower, giving you a peace of mind using your electronics without damages from power surges.